Welcome to another edition of The Spotlight. And today we've got the rising superstar. I'm a piano sensation, Bassi. She's joining us and she is on the hot seat this week. We are talking all things music, talking all things career, and where she sees herself in the near future. Bassi, welcome to the Kaya Kanda. Hi, how are you? How are you, Mayo? <laughs> Bassi is so good. sexy, ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you? <laughs> But she's the sexiest <laughs> woman alive, okay? Her voice refuses for her to be louder than what she is. So please, Hatalin, okay? <laughs> take a moment, take a moment. So, Basi, I mean, you have been now at it for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And it is so funny that when I read your bio, it said that you started off outside of the cheerleading and the dancing and every other thing. Mm -hmm. You were a conductor? Yes, I was. Who were you conducting? What was happening? Share a bit more with that. I was a choir conductor at Summer Park High School. Mm -hmm. So, Maugumetrik, they, when you're the eldest, they fuck at you. So, I started from <laughs> eight, grade eight, <laughs> grade nine, grade ten, yeah. grade eleven, grade twelve. Obviously, now I'm an OG. So, yeah. I, they were like... Did you like it at all? I loved it. Really? Like making, turning hip hop songs into choir songs. No. Merging the voices. Oh, I loved every part of it. Were you, um, were you, did you have the pleasure to actually see or hear about Cubs of the Smalls uh, Symphonic that happened, when did it happen? A couple of weeks ago. Yes. At Gaurav City. <laughs> but you know what was wonderful mm. is when I was talking to the conductor there, I've always thought that when people conduct music, they're just showboating. They're there with their magic wand <laughs> yeah. and they're just waving around, you know? Yeah. And then I got to attend another symphonic, symphonic not the one here, Gabs, mm -hmm. all right? Where this conductor was like, okay, I'm going to leave the stage. I want to hear if you guys hear the music. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you? The instruments were all over the place. So I can imagine when there is no choir conductor, yeah. people don't actually jet. <laughs> Really? Did you find that it was the same for you? Yes, but of course we didn't have instruments. Yeah, um, sure, sure, sure. At school any. It wasn't really a thing that they wanted to invest in. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of the voices and everything, proper. Proper, because proper. you were the conductor. Yeah, yeah. But see the conductor. Like, I'm Check sure I'm sure I'm not quite a man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got into music, mm -hmm. um, uh, fell in love with, I'm assuming, my piano as well, mm -hmm. and you started doing well, mm -hmm. right? When did you know that this is now my career? I'm no longer messing around. This is now it. If I don't put my foot on the accelerator, mm -hmm. I would have done an injustice to myself. Like now. Really? <laughs> is this the moment? Like now. Really? <laughs> What made what 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 made that shift? What was that big shift that you felt like okay, all hands on deck now? Um, basically, because I've been releasing music, and yeah. I'm not saying it hasn't been doing very well. Mm. But last year it was Izenzo. Mm -hmm. This year it's Guelang, and I'm seeing okay, yo, everything's just moving fast. The numbers mm. are moving fast. Yeah. Like, People are expecting a lot now from me than they did before. Yeah. And before I was just relaxed. I was just like. So keeping going, uh, but how how is the extra pressure due to social media? I mean, you're talking about people expecting a lot. Mm -hmm. Is there extra pressure because you are no longer just depending now on Kaya, Metro, Y, or whoever else to play your song? Mm -hmm. Also, the people on social media are like looking at you like, when are you releasing new yeah. music? What what is the pressure like, and what is this pressure that you talk of? Um, the pressure. It causes a lot of anxiety for me. And uh, I was no stress. No, no. <laughs> Making me stress. See, it's very rare for me to get to studio and be able to write. So it's when I went to studio with Azana, I think a week ago, she's yeah. working on a project yeah. a week or two weeks back. That's the studio session where I was able to write. <laughs> I wrote <laughs> and I finished and she sang and I'm like, oh, okay, this is nice. Yeah. But like when I have my own session, I'm just there like. Do you think you are in your head a lot? You know, I don't know which musician said this, but this music wasn't my quite, could have been my quite, but he literally said, if you have a song, write it, put it out. Whatever happens, happens. Because you are not going to force Izenzo or Guelanga to be a big song. Yeah. You're not going to force it. 
It's either people are going to gravitate towards it oh, or nice. they are not going to gravitate towards True. it. Yeah. True. So you're in your head a lot? I am. Every day, all day, even when I sleep. What? In my head. <laughs> but I'm trying to... I'm trying to establish where the anxiety comes from because mm-hmm. you've now had hits. You've had hits. Mm-hmm. You know that people are gravitating towards you and your music. Mm-hmm. And we are hoping with the success, even a bigger success of Izenzo, Kwelanga will be an even bigger success. Mm-hmm. And we are hoping after you released whatever that comes after Kwelanga, that will also be That's a bigger the success. Problem. Aha. <laughs> You are looking at this big. That's the problem. And I'm I'm scared of failure. I don't uh-huh. want to fail. Uh-huh. I can't go back to the two, 2,000 views, uh, 20K view. I can't go back. I, I don't want to go back. You know what's what you're saying is so key because I think a lot of people have said that. Winning is easy. Staying on top is a yep. completely different game. Yes, definitely. Oh my gosh! I'm now anxious for you. But you're doing well. Let me tell you, you were doing well. I mean, Izenzo um, was our number one, I think, for about five weeks on the Kaya Countdown. It really stayed there for long. One of my favorite songs under the year is, yeah! Because <laughs> I am a sucker for love. Um, so now, Kwelanga has come up. How's that doing now so far? Kwelanga has surprised me. Like, I knew that I wouldn't be able to hit the numbers that Izenzo hit, mm-hmm. right? Okay, like, you know. Mm. So I knew it's okay, in a potential. Sure. Right now it's running too fast because it's on, already on 2 million streams on Spotify. Ooh, 3 million all, all streams. You. That time we haven't shot a music video because we were not expecting it to hit that fast. Yeah. We're on number two, Woo, Apple a music. music. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, head. but yeah. it's scary nonetheless. It's scary nonetheless. Yeah. So, yeah, Guelang is doing very, very well, and I hope it does about his mental level. What's the home front saying? Um, I mean, when you were still doing it at school, it felt like co curricular, it felt like a pathway um, of some sort, because you were still at school, right? Mm-hmm. Mom was happy that I, my child is still within school. Yeah. What is she saying now? And what did she say when you said, Ma, I want to be a musician? My mom is my number one fan. Yes. From Beth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. since yeah. she's my number one fan, she's been supportive. That's so amazing. Like, I don't have any complaints about my mom. No, my mama, so she'll try to help me out because mm. they are awards um, nominated for the Vasari and Music Awards. Yes. So I'm telling her, it's like, I need hair, I need a dress, I need shoes, I need... She's like, no, no, I know someone that sells hair, she can sponsor you. Mm. Like, DM her on Instagram, DM her. I DM'd her. Hey! And now we got hair. I'm like, yeah. oh, thank God, because I'm so my weave and like spending 3K on a weave. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are like, no, <laughs> this is an investment that I'm not willing to do. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's very supportive, love her so much. And I'm sure she's proud now that she sees that everything that you guys have been working hard towards mm. is finally paying off. Yeah, I'm going to show you a million because I want to build her house. Of course you will. Which is 500,000. Yeah. And then the furniture and what's what. Mamela, but you're going to do it. I mean, already with the music and you wanting 5 million, it takes me then to the next question. How savvy are you when it comes to the music business. How much do you know mm-hmm. about Lady Bisa and the split sheets, publishing, yes, and all of that? Because part of success is making sure that the admin is taken care mm-hmm. of so that it can take care of you even when you're not making music. Yeah, um, I'm not going to act like I know everything. Sure. I don't. <laughs> yeah. But in terms of masters, Sambro, Capasso, Sampra, those things took time for me to learn about. Yeah. But before I even recorded Ibatando and all of that, I had already signed up for them. I didn't Good. know what they were for, but I went to Sambro, yeah. signed up, Sampra signed up, Capasso signed up. I don't I didn't know anything. Mm-hmm. So right now I'm I'm benefiting. Good. Right. And then in terms of my my contract, 
I had no idea about my contract as well. It took maybe a year or two for me to be like, oh, okay, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. And now I understand everything. It's just I cannot disclose. Of course you can't disclose. Because <laughs> now you're going to tell us that you actually have a million. You could be by building your mother's house. But you're acting like you're out here, can't afford a 3,000 rand weave. <laughs> Near you, I know you guys. I know you guys. I know you guys proper. So what is in the future? I know that there's a lot of anxiety with success mm. but when you look in the nearest future what are you wishing for yourself and obviously that means you are in the garden cultivating making sure that this future is then possible i am wishing like at most success I want everything that I drop to do the utmost best. I want people mm. to enjoy my music. I don't want people to listen to my music for a month and then after they're over it, mm -hmm. I want them to feel mm -hmm. it like how you felt in mm -hmm. Senzo. Oh, completely felt it. <laughs> completely and utterly I want people it. to feel it. I want to monetize through my dream. Mm. I want to go back to school next year. Really? I want to finish my teaching now. It's one more year left, so I didn't go this year. Uh -huh. I want to finish next year. Uh-huh. Yeah. You want to teach what? How? Uh, I want to know. Like, <laughs> you want to teach music or subjects in school? Oh. Like, can you imagine having a celebrity teacher? That can be awkward, eh? Uh, I, won't, I won't sing anymore once I'm doing my teaching. What do you mean? I, I'm not gonna, what do you mean? I'm not going to sing anymore. You mean, okay, so you're going to complete, let's say you complete your teaching mm -hmm. course because you say you left with yeah. one more year. Mm -hmm. After that, you're not going to stop singing? I'm not. So you're going to shelve it for a while? Yes. And then when once you are like, okay, guys, music has done great, I'm out, then you'll yeah. go teach? Yes. Really? Yes. You love kids? Like what? I'm trying to see what phase are you teaching? I do a foundation phase. Foundation phase. I do love they are the kids, better but ones. I didn't. I spoke about this last time with mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. that I didn't know that I was applying for teaching or foundation phase. But like while studying, I started liking it. Really? So now I'm like. Huh. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Tell us more about. Uh, I want two things. You to tell us a bit more about Izenzo. I know previously you've sent us a voice note talking about the making of the song, but mm -hmm. I just want to rehash that. Mm -hmm. Izenzo, it is charting. It's still on the Kaya Countdown. It might have been unseated on number one. You know that number one spot is dangerous, right? <laughs> um, but tell us more about the song, the making of the mm -hmm. song, and when you actually knew that actually this song is going to be a hit. So basically, I've been wanting to work with Amos for years. Okay. From him to uh -huh. I'm like a fan. Oh, good. And Amos doesn't care. <laughs> 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 like now he cares. She yeah. She's my brother. She's like, my ultimate brother. But yeah. at that time, yeah, boy. Yeah. So Mac G does the piano and chill session mm -hmm. where they play instruments and then you sing live. Mm -hmm. So there was Amos and me. So Amos had to perform his set and then I perform my set afterwards. So he performs his set. I perform after. He comes up to me. He's like, Andy Vele, you can sing. Ah, so. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, we have to work. We have to work. We, we leave immediately from there. We go to studio. It's unworkable. I end up leaving because I'm tired anyway. Yeah. Um, my manager calls me uh, maybe a week later. He's like, Amos just called. You need to come to studio now. I'm like, no, I'm sick. He's like, no, you have to go to studio. I said, father, I call him father. Mm. Father, I'm sick. I can't. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, says. They pick us, pick me up. I'm there sick. I'm fucking this Like, no. I'm jacket. I'm tired. I can't do this. I don't want to go to studio. We get there. Team and SA already has a beat ready. <laughs> <laughs> Plays the beats. So he's like, I don't want a love song. I don't want a love song. I'm like, uh, okay. So I start writing with the melody. Na, 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 right? And then something else another concept and then he's like uh, then he has that right now he's saying okay now i want a love song now we are removing the lyrics but keeping the flow yes. and filling in the gaps of mm -hmm. okay if you mela push panamera we start recording record the backings we're like okay this is a nice song yeah we didn't know it's a hit we yeah. it's like this is a nice song yeah we tell the management he tells his management we're like this is the song Mm -hmm. they're like nah they we said like, nah. Is, nah 
We're like, this is the song. They're like, I, okay, okay, let's let's drop and and see. And we saw. Were they shocked or were they shocked? I think they still shocked. I think they still shocked. <laughs> oh my god! But then this then boosts your confidence, right? It Especially does. with all your anxiety, it mm. boosts your confidence. It does. And now you're like. Guys, actually, I can do this. Mm. Gwelanga comes up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Gwelanga, we drop his hands, all right? Yeah. When did we drop? I don't remember. Uh, like August last year. Yeah, yeah, August, something like that. So, after dropping, the song is running, mm-hmm. but my brand is not running. <sighs> I'm still not making money. Mm-hmm. I'm still not getting gigs. Mm-hmm. I'm still not being called on Kaya. Hey. Kaya and I fight now. <laughs> What like, a mess. Like you go be like I understand you yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, the song is also charting on Zimbabwe, Ebutswana. I'm 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 still not Why going am I not there. seeing the door. You understand? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's rough now. Cause last year I was in school. Mm-hmm. School fees I have to pay. Of course. Which is not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I have to take care of my family. I'm I'm a breadwinner yeah. as well. So I'm there like, damn. So I have to go to studio. Tulani Way calls me. He's like, come through to studio. And I had already canceled like thrice. So I, now I had to go. Yeah. Because if I cancel again, you I'm a bad like you're person. You seem like you're not interested. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. So I take an Uber, head there. I'm in pain, physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain. Oh, and you go right. Mm. I, I think I'm going to go right when you're in studio. I'm going to problem with studio. So I get there. They play the beat. I'm just sitting there. I want to cry. I don't know anybody in that studio, so I can't cry. I'm there like, ish, I'm just typing. Oh. You know, I'm just typing how I'm feeling and holding back my tears. I record the song, record the backings, record everything. Leave immediately because I'm, I'm still not you feeling You're emotional, well. yeah. I leave, I go cry alone. Oh, man. Next thing, the song is on adulting. Mm. So they sent the song to me, and I was like, ah, let go my. Pop. I, and I was like, hey, 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 hey. whatever, if you want to release it, do it. I, and yeah. they're like, bro, they're like, but see, the song is nice. I'm like, hey, hey. And I listened to it, I'm like, Mm-mm. I mised it. It played on adulting. Adulting, they wrote uh, Calvin Momo by mistake, but my mom said, but see, I know your voice. <laughs> This is your song. Hey, so I'm playing adulting now. I'm like, Mama, this is my song. But credit to like Kelvin, Mom, Kelvin, Mom, what was song? <laughs> you know? Huh. So anyway, they hit me up. We get our fans equally, you know? And then I take a video on TikTok. I'm like, my song is about to drop. It's on adulting. It blows up on TikTok. So now the song is pumpily. I'm behind. Because hey. we had not planned on dropping. I didn't know. You were like your previous management that did not trust you. Yeah. Ha. I shop when it runs like that. The full song, the whole entire song is that part that I posted on TikTok. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, I can't drop it like this because mm-hmm. they've been waiting. Now I have to get features. Yeah. Who, who, who. I'm like, okay, we can get Lim Crazy. We can get Timon Express. I don't have their numbers. We're not best friends. I'm going on Instagram. I'm like, bro, how are you? <laughs> it's me. You know that, Ken? <laughs> uh, I need a feature. <laughs> I called both of them. I need a feature. I'm like, I needed it as in yesterday. I need it like now. So Shoot. I had to wait. Now I had to play the waiting game because I cannot drop a song yeah. And then email it for so many months, mm. and then there's nothing new. Mm. I waited and waited. I got it. We got the features. So I thought I was going to get one of them, but I got both. And now that's why it's a seven minute song. <laughs> so we got both. We put mm. both of them in, and we dropped both versions of the song. Wow. What a story. When are you shooting? Visual. Early next week. Only next week. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing, though. That is amazing. Are you looking forward to the future now? Because now I'm sure you trust yourself slightly better. Yeah. yeah. You have <laughs> at the least three hits. <laughs> You've seen that. Okay, the first one was not a fluke. The second one was not a fluke. The third one <laughs> cannot be a fluke. It can't. I'm sure you have some level of confidence up. It yes. doesn't mean that you don't get the butterflies. Yeah. But I'm sure that even your outlook to the future 
is slightly better, less tense. Yes, true. Yeah, it is. Oh well, Basi, thank you so much for making time to come through. Thank you. Um, we will definitely find a way to pump Guelanga. We'll definitely find a way to always reach out. Good luck with the music video. If you want a video of Vixen, call me up again. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to dance. <laughs> Don't bore me with that. Don't routine. worry, there's no dancing scenes. No, it's no. a proper video. <laughs> Thank you, Siabonga, Siabonga, Siabonga. Well, all the best. Um, really wishing you more and more gigs. Thank um, you. because yeah, really wishing you more gigs. Working on your are you working on your brand before we leave? Are you working on your brand to be more out there, to be more noticeable? Because I think brand is about yeah, notice, face, knowing yeah. people knowing you a bit more, putting yourself out there and interacting with the fans far more. I'm I'm trying, it's very difficult. Interacting with fans, not a problem. Yeah. Um, my only issue is content, taking content. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not lazy or anything. I ish, ish. it's not for you. <laughs> but let it be for you. It has to. It let it be for you all right thank you so much for coming <laughs> thank um, you. we can't wait to see what uh, Kwelanga does we know how successful Izenzo was mm -hmm. so really really hoping all the success for you yeah thank you awesome <laughs>